we are saying that we have an issue where we concentrate on training the girl child and we feel the boy child can get away with whatever he does. This is a reaction video to something a friend had shared with me from um, a preacher. I sometimes listen to her husband's messages as well. This is not an attack on the person. This is just to address the message itself. So you may know her voice. You may know who she is. I'm not going to say her name. Again, this is about the message itself and exactly what is wrong with it. So I'm going to play this message so here and then I would share my thoughts. And she has been shouting since. He didn't change. That same thing you are complaining about. Oh, my husband is too scattered. He will come in and throw his clothes everywhere. Pick it. You think that's causing quarrel? It's not. It's not rich like that, too. <laughs> he throws his clothes here. Don't complain because he will throw it again tomorrow. This energy you are using to complain, it will be easier to pick it up. That's why I say wickedness is, is stressful. <laughs> it's too stressful. He throws the cloth, pick it up. Because when your child puts the cloth on the floor, you say, oh, Junior, why are you doing this? Mommy doesn't like it. Why do you miss throw your clothes on the floor? Don't be a naughty boy, Mommy. <laughs> but your husband, you will pick it up. But your man will throw his own. What kind of thing is this? Grown man like you cannot keep cloth in wardrobe. I better pick something, I'm not your slave. So I haven't listened to this. Um, we are saying that we have an issue where we concentrate on training the girl child and we feel the boy child can get away with whatever he does. And this is how we raise men who, as I say, are just in adult bodies, but are actually behaving like babies and this is also how we um aid and abet incompetency in our male folks in men why should you pick up after him in a union partners should listen to each other so if you have complained about dropping items randomly around the room there are very few things that for some people stresses them out especially when they've raised concerns about that thing we're seeing a high divorce rate and we're seeing more women being the ones initiating this and then the world is complaining oh what is wrong with today's women why aren't they asking what is wrong with the men like women are trying to be awakened to what is right to what a union should actually be like should what it, to what it should feel like for them and then you now have to deal with a man who thinks the responsibility of making the marriage work which boils down to little things like this is on you and then you have a preacher who has a platform to probably reach thousands of people and then she goes on to say things like this again not an attack on our person there are times we share messages because we indeed think that in truth that is what is correct the boy child the junior she's alluding to here should also pick up after himself this is how he will grow to be a more responsible man responsible with his personal items responsible with his living space and in return, responsible with his partner, such that when she complains, but if we continue to say, oh, we'll pick it up, or how many times have I said it? no, so that we raise a new generation of young men who have a stronger sense of responsibility around the fact that in the home, you are not to do as you like. These are the little things that build up and end up making many women, women in particular, tired. I am not here for gender battles or any of those things because I know when the comments start to come in, a lot of people will think that's what this is about. No, I speak about males. I, I speak about men. I speak about women. You know, everyone should just do right and act right. A man shouldn't drop his things around and you shouldn't encourage that women should just overlook it and pick it up. Because again, you should understand you're addressing human beings with emotions. So imagine a woman has come from a home where everything is done so neatly, kept well, you know, and then she has to marry this person who thinks it's fine to throw his things around. And she keeps complaining and he won't listen and is making her get worked up. Is making her get frustrated so these really are my thoughts um and i just hope that a lot of people see this as well and do not really go along with this messaging where it's accepted that 
the boy child can behave as he wants because that boy child is going to end up being the men who grow into adults and who we all will have to deal with.